Welcome to our living room. We are having a major heat wave here, 90, which is really hot for us. Anyway, um, we hope that everyone had a, a beautiful Father's Day, women, women and men. Um, we, had, we had an amazing Father's Day. And what we did for Father's Day is we thought of, well, we both love our, fa- our own fathers, Henry for me and Michael for, for Barry. We both love our own fathers very, very much. And of course, we thought of them. And I thought of Barry as such a, such a wonderful father. But we also thought of um, other men in our, in our lives that have just come through and, and blessed us in a, in a way that we needed to be blessed. We've had some beautiful teachers like Leo Biscalia and Ramdas, Pirvalayat, um, Babaji. But, and then there's also some, some men that aren't famous that just came and touched us at a, at a point in our lives when we really, really needed help. So I'm going to tell about this one man, Mr. Davis. Mr. Davis helped us extraordinary, huge amount. We were 22 years old. We had been together for four years. We met in um, upstate New York. And the thought of, uh, of two people getting married when one is Jewish and the other isn't was just unheard of. People, people didn't do that. And, and people discouraged us greatly. I mean, basically people said, it's not going to work. You, you, you're young. Why don't you find, why don't you find someone else? And actually, we tried to, but you know, when you love someone so deeply, you can't just. Oh, Barry tried dating Jewish. I knew I was going to marry a doctor, so I, I dated this young man who was a medical student. He was, I don't know, blonde and blue-eyed, and he was a really special person. But he wasn't Barry. And Barry's really, really special. So we wanted, we wanted to get married. And then the big problem is no one, no one was going to marry us. And we didn't want to go to a, to a justice of the peace. Actually, we'd never heard of that. People kind of didn't do that. They had a wedding. And we wanted to have a wedding and have our family there and our friends. And we wanted it to be really, really special. But no one, no one would do that. It was just too... Strange. It's not strange now, but in 1968, it was strange. So <clears throat> my mother suggested that perhaps her, her minister at her church in Buffalo, New York, would be willing, and she set up an appointment with us, and we met Mr. Davis. And he, and he talked with us, and, and after about an hour, he said, I believe you could have a really, really beautiful, fulfilling marriage. And I would love to marry you, but there's one condition. I thought, oh dear. <laughs> and he, he said such wise words. And he said, you know, you're both different. Barry's Jewish, was raised, raised Jewish, had a bar mitzvah. It's, it's in his culture. It's deep. I was raised Christian. My mother brought me to church seemed all the time. And he said, so you're, you're, you're different. And if you try and change each other, your marriage isn't going to work. But honor and respect those differences, because that will make your marriage really strong. I thought, we thought that was the most beautiful advice. And then he said to Barry, what do you need so that you feel comfortable in my church. And Barry said, I really need the Hebrew prayers. And Mr. Davis said, I will learn them. I'm not familiar. I've never, never spoken them, but I will learn them. I will do that for you, for your, for your wedding. And I just, it was so, so loving to us and supportive at a time when we really desperately needed someone to believe in us and someone to to support us. And he even did something else that I thought was special. 
Barry had never been in a church, actually. And I kind of grew up in the church. And he didn't realize that there's crosses on the on the um, on the altar. It's not like a Catholic church with the great big cross with Jesus. It's it's not like that. It's just a simple cross. And he walked in and he's like, Oh my gosh, this was like shortly before the wedding. My my parents, I, I can't have the cross there. And this Mr. Davis said, That's okay. It was pretty lightweight. He just took it and put it down on the floor behind the altar. I thought that was really special too. My mother saw that and kind of freaked out. But she settled down after after she settled down after a while. Um, yes, it was a big that was a big deal. Um, and I think you know we're we're all in a position to give support to a young person, to see their beauty, to see that their dreams can come true, and just put our arms around them and say, "I I." Th- I believe in you, and and I I will support you in this, and in in that way this this beautiful love of the heavenly mother and the heavenly father can come through us. Mr. Davis, I mean, we think about him still a lot because he just helped us so much. All right. Mm. So, do you have anything else to add, Barry? Or well, I, yeah, I'm just, I'm really feeling, Mr. Davis, how really it was the energy of the f- Divine Father that came just right through him. And, and we always need parenting. No matter how old we are, it feels so good to be parented. Sometimes we're parented by young people, younger than us, right? And, yes. And sometimes by older than us, and sometimes it's mothering, sometimes it's fathering, but it's an energy that always feels good. It's like a, a feeling taken care of. And yes, Mr. Davis, he, he really wanted us to embrace our, how different we were. And, and we were different. We came from very different backgrounds, not just Jewish Christian. I mean, I remember when Joyce first visited my home near New York City, she couldn't believe we sat down to a meal and, and there were some relatives visiting too. And everybody spoke at the same time. And if you want to be heard in my house growing up, you just spoke louder until finally you yelled and then people could hear you. And then I, I remember the first time visiting Joyce in Buffalo, New York at her, at her home. And we sat down for a meal and somebody spoke and everybody listened. And I felt like I was on another planet. I couldn't believe it, that actually that was possible. And then somebody else spoke, everybody else listened. Imagine that. It was just mind blowing. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you can only imagine the experience for me with I mean, seriously, people were just yelling top volume to be heard over over everyone else. Yeah. Um, I wanna just say before Barry sings that yeah. yes, it was it was very difficult and challenging to get to the point of, of getting married. It's the best decision I've ever made in my whole life <laughs> to marry this wonderful man. Yeah, it's, yeah, being with this beautiful one has blessed my life enormously, enormously. All right. So, hasn't always been easy, especially when I'm loud <laughs> and you're quiet. <laughs> But we've learned. <laughs> All right. Um, I thought of this this song. Um, that's it's really. Um, I mean, if you if you actually closed your eyes and listened, it's listen as if it's a divine father or mother singing to you. Okay, letting you know the truth. Okay.
I loved you It couldn't be more clear Always Will I love you I couldn't be more near oh, 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 oh. you it couldn't be more clear oh, always will I love you I couldn't be more near I'm right so feel for a moment it's like a promise from divine mother divine father from the angels from the great ones who we can't see always have I loved you always will I love you I'm always here with you. Mm, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you for watching these videos. And so right now, I just feel feel our love for you. You, some of you, yeah. write to us, and um, it just means so much. And um, just we are we are loving you so much right now, yeah. and we're here for you. All right, yeah. God bless. Mm, mm. Mm.